Hereditary is a 2018 supernatural thriller written and directed by visionary filmmaker Ari Aster. The film focuses on the Graham family, an upper-class family made up of four members, Peter, Charlie, Steve, and Annie. After the surprise death of Charlie, the youngest, the family begins to turn on each other, all while a looming supernatural presence gradually makes itself known. Hereditary is a highly detailed, highly symbolic melodrama that explores ideas like destiny and identity. For the purposes of this analysis, I will primarily be focusing on Charlie and Peter. The scene begins with Peter carrying Charlie towards the car while she gasps for air. It's already communicated through Peter and Charlie's body language that something is wrong. The subtle and foreboding music give off a sense of tension even before we understand what is happening in the scene. Later, Peter frantically drives down a dark road in the middle of nowhere with Charlie in the back seat. The scene immediately sets the pacing and gives the audience little time to register what is happening. Once we see both Charlie and Peter, even before we know the details, Charlie and Peter's reactions communicate that whatever is happening is only getting worse. Both characters are panicking and there is little time to waste. This frantic pacing mirrors the characters' anxious and fearful emotional states. At this point, both characters have easily identifiable emotions and goals. Get Charlie to the hospital. Seeing Charlie panicking, Peter tries to reassure her that they are almost at the hospital. This was most likely a lie of love as both characters are in the middle of nowhere surrounded by total darkness. At this point, Charlie rolls down the window desperately gasping for air. Her legs thrashing against the car door show that Charlie is struggling more severely than the previous scene. Peter's intense breathing and tight facial expression show us an increased anxiousness seeing how quickly Charlie's condition is worsening. Unexpectedly, Peter spots an animal carcass on the road and swerves to avoid it, which unintentionally leads to Charlie's brutal decapitation. The car stops just as quickly as Peter notices what has happened. This scene is graphic to say the least, and it changes the way the audience feels about Peter as a character. Peter's manslaughter of his sister, while somewhat circumstantial, was still prompted by Peter's negligence, and now bathes him in an extremely negative light. This scene essentially shows the outcome of trusting an unreliable person with precious cargo, i.e. trusting Peter to look after Charlie. Stunned by what has just happened, Peter sits motionless in the car, struggling to comprehend the immensity of his actions. The audience and Peter's worst fear has come true, and Charlie is dead. Still in shock, Peter attempts to look in the rearview mirror briefly, seeing Charlie's decapitated body. What he sees is too confronting for him, and he looks away quickly. A few moments pass with Peter still locked in place, staring into nothing. Peter then eases his foot off the brake and continues to drive home in a state of shock. The darkness and isolation only blanket the inevitable consequences of Peter's actions, almost exacerbating the situation by forcing Peter to deal with everything alone. Peter disassociates from the situation much like how he drives away without facing anything. Peter is not equipped to handle the emotional pressure he is under. In conclusion, this scene emphasizes Peter and Charlie's character traits. Charlie is a dependent child that needs the full attention of her family to function, and Peter is an immature teenager that is prone to making poor decisions. Even as a standalone scene, the characters' emotive responses summarize their personalities. This small segment completely encapsulates the characters we see on screen. Looking into Peter's expressionless face in the last scene, I feel as though Peter recognizes how his decision making will affect his image and standing with his family and others.